wombats have mange, so it's caused by the mite Sarcoptes scabii. Basically it burrows into the skin, causes massive infection. Animals become blind and deaf and then they die. It's a particularly horrific way to die. There's three species of wombats, one of which is critically endangered. That's the northern hairy nose wombat. There's about 200 individuals left. And currently mange isn't in that population, but if it was to get into that population, it would absolutely devastate it. And it's literally killing thousands of wombats. WOMSAT is a citizen science based project. In particular, we're looking at citizens telling us where and when they see wombats, if they're dead, if they're alive, and where their burrows are as well. Citizens can download the apps or they can go online at wombsat.org.au and log their sightings. They can put in the date, the time that they see the wombat. They can upload photos of the wombat that they see or the burrows that they see. They can also uh, tell us the GPS coordinates of where they see it and lots of um, information such as if they have mange or not. We really don't have a current picture of the threats to wombats at present. So if people can get on board and look at wombats where they are, that gives us the distribution information and then where and when they don't have mange for example or if there's particular roadkill hotspots. The data that we're collecting at the moment is the very first stage of a project looking at wombat mange in particular and this information is telling us information about where the wombats are with mange and where they aren't with mange and hopefully from that we can work out possibly you know this population has mange and why and we can do some genetic studies and this population doesn't have it and why. I would recommend being a researcher at Western Sydney University. It's opened to lots of opportunities. You get to follow your particular research that you're interested in and it's very challenging at times, which is something that I enjoy. Yeah, we've had a fantastic response from citizen science and the public in general. It's been really, really positive. Lots of people have been getting on board. Wildlife organisations and just citizens that are driving around have emailed us and sent us lots of pictures. The numbers of sightings that we've seen on the website have dramatically increased since we've got that media coverage as well, so it's been fantastic. I would like to encourage everybody to get online at wombsat.org.au and become a wombat warrior and log the sightings of wombats and burrows that they see.